Okay, here's a tutorial related to an error message inside this EBCD. The image path must not contain any spaces. Please correct this and try again. This error message is shown while you want to add a new entry into the operating system selection menu. Let's say that's an ISO file and you browse to an ISO file, for example this one, add entry and then the error message is shown. Okay, let's see how to fix this one. The problem is, as it say, says, the path of the file must not contain any spaces. The space is this one, after Windows and 10, for example. That is this little space. The space which is created with the space bar. Okay, so let's close this error message, let's correct the file, right click on it and rename and either delete those spaces or replace them. So let's see, I will delete this space, delete, I will replace it with a line like so. Okay, let's go to the next one, delete. Okay, now it's here at the pro thing. Let's replace it with another line. So there's no space there. Okay, here's another space, this one. We can also delete it without adding any line, any characters. There's another one here, delete. And another one here. Okay, there's no space. Okay, press enter. I deleted the spaces. Let's go back here to ISO. The browse button. Select the ISO file, which is this one. Click open. Add entry. You can add the name there. Add entry. Now it starts defragmenting a little bit. More or less. You have to wait for that and the error message is gone and this ISO file will be added to the menu let's check it, edit boot menu and ok, I, one of them is an ISO file, this one we can either, we can also rename it ISO ok, so make sure you delete the spaces between words or other characters the spaces which are created in the file name with the spacebar. Thanks for watching and bye bye.